morning's breakfast area is a little bit different to normal. Check this out. You got chandeliers. You got lovely egg lady just made us a beautiful omelet. Loads of veggies. Everything you could possibly imagine, but just how this is laid out. So cool. So beautiful. Thank you. Lovely lady. So we're gonna have a little bit of a feast and uh, get on the road. This is gonna be hard to leave, even a big old chandelier. There's the bus. It's report number two. I see this is stunning. No bugger here. Mind you, it is quite early, it's just before six. Absolutely amazing. So what did I go for? So you have all this lovely traditional food. I went for a good old spaghetti bolognese for breakfast. A rice, omelette, fruits, yogurt, toast, cappuccino, and an Americano, and two fruit juices. Very nice. It's tough. It's tough. <laughs> I've moved on to my, look how dirty my nose looks. This is clean, people. It's just the heat of the sun on my classic room and profile. So I've moved on to my second course now. A bit of fruit salads and almonds. They got a, let's get the old trouble and strife in. There she is, back to me, main attraction. <laughs> They've got a, a 10K run going on here at the moment. And the guys just come through, just finished. Not even 7 a.m. We're tucking into plate number threes. It's a bit of a leisurely start. Someone wanted to just keep sitting around having cappuccinos and americanos and enjoying the fruit buffet. Someone, me, had to put my finger down and say, come on, we got a ride to do. No, that's not how it was. The opposite, but hey ho. Get very comfortable in a place like that with a chandelier. Mm. Such a good chandelier. <sighs> Please send my reading jacket and smoking pipe. <laughs> hip, hip. Zipping along here at great pace. Makes a nice change for us after the mountains. This ride is actually, if anything, a little bit downhill all the way around. Lovely little town. People saying hello, waving. Lots of water stops. Got a river over there. Stunning. Right, check back in in a bit. Just checking in, we just come through a couple of little villages, lots of dogs. So, uh, tactic with the dogs that seems to work. We fly a dagger formation and shout at them. And that seems to just shock them into not attacking. And that works quite well. Because some of them will give chase and people are bitten. Pip pip. Who's that? Coming into the Kamfet province, which is a world heritage site. Absolutely stunning. Tip for riding in this weather is have a good shirt. I personally recommend TJ Llewellyn from St. James's, Central London. Good collar, rigid, stays up, arm covering, or like Sarah's got, full cycling lycra arm and leg covers. Cover up the sun, 35 plus is quite a beast. Here we are, just sipping up a dusty farm track on our way back onto a bit more of a main road. Sipping to, you guessed it, an 11 of seven almost at the hotel. As always, the last 30k seems to take all day. Hello! All right, so morning of day eight. We're just following this river. Absolutely stunning. It's such a, it's the most beautiful river I've ever seen. And uh, it's flat. Hey! and there's hardly anyone around. Hello! Hello. <laughs> it's great.
great. Hey, can you guess where we are? Chit chit boom! Seven eleven for the win. The boss insisted on that we stop. And I have two lollipops. She got a banana <laughs> and a seven up, a yellow, and saying for the old trouble and strife. And now we're off. On to the next seven eleven for lunch. Yeah. Last ten k. Crazy little tuk tuk thing in front. There's the boss. Very, very true. Hello. Coming at you from another yogi gem of a hotel. All I can say is rural. Very rural. Rural. Take the next left. The Running through the neighborhood of farmers' fields. Apparently, there's a nice, what's it called? A hotel resort. It's a resort. A resort. <laughs> Both saying it's a resort. Yeah, resort is code. Resort is code for lots of little huts. Now turn left. It's gonna be lovely. <laughs> I'm still looking for this hotel. Still looking no. for the hotel. We are now back in the jungle. <laughs> a dusty farm tractor thingy oh, just I went can... past us. I think we just went through the local dump. <laughs> um. Sarah has a real knack of finding unique. In marketing circles, they'd be referred to as boutique places. Other circles, they'd be described as. Quite a bit further out. So, here we go, here we go. I think we're coming up to it. Made it. <clears throat> Van Melly Guest House in a town I have no idea. 2 p.m. and I think we're the only ones here. Um, it's literally in the middle of nowhere on the outskirts of a tiny little town. But uh, it's just a stopover point. We're gonna be gone by 6 a.m. up at 5 again because we have a bit of a big day tomorrow. So we gotta beat the heat. Um, so this is just a place to enjoy a bit of pool, do some laundry, chill out for the rest of the day and go again in the morning. Um, we're on our way to Canchanabury, which is um, a pretty nice town, very uh, touristy, and we'll spend three days there and hopefully get to this waterfall that looks amazing. And then this is our view. Can't wait to get in that pool.